This is your temporary sidearm. Why well, I'm just full of flint pistols in a machine gun fight. Do you have a problem? I don't know. Do I? One of the themes of this movie is vengeance. Is there anything that you, you know, would love to seek light vengeance for? Yes. I mean, there are actually um, a lot of people <laughs> in Hollywood that I intend one day to murder. But, you know, <laughs> um, I haven't actually killed any of them yet. Um, I, uh, I would say to you that there was a famous, famous mm -hmm. movie star. And I can't say his name because it would be really, really bad. But one of the most famous movie stars of this generation. And he had been involved with my mom before she married my dad. And I knew from conversations that I had with her many, many years later when I was an adult that she had become pregnant with his child mm -hmm. and, she, and he refused to marry her. And for that reason, I had this terrible grudge for a long time against this actor. And um, when I eventually met him, I found him to be tremendously pompous and uh, self-important. And then I liked him even less. And then um, I found myself working with his son who looked exactly like him. And I thought, now's my chance. I'm gonna wait for this kid to make some kind of snarky remark. And then I'm gonna use that as a pretext uh, to kick his ass. Uh, and it's not Scott Eastwood. So to, before you <laughs> jump into conclusions that, is he talking about Scott? I love Scott Eastwood and it's not Scott Eastwood. And, uh, and then what happened was, you know, as I was hanging out with this kid, as I was working with him, you know, um, you know, my feelings, uh, you know, started to change. And I started to realize that, you know, that I, that I really liked him um, and that, um, that he was nothing like his father. So, you know, I was, I, I was able to let go of that grudge finally and put it behind me. Um, you know, but, um, look, you know, pursuing a career as an actor in Hollywood, um, is, 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 is an adventure that is filled with disappointment and, uh, inevitably you have regrets and you have, you know, you people that don't keep their word and you have opportunities that you thought you were going to have that don't, that, 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 that don't become yours or, 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 or people that don't behave honorably. And, uh, I remember, you know, how, um, you know, uh, when, 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 when Ben Affleck, you know, won, won, won the Oscar um, for Best Director, and he got up and he said, you know, you can't hold grudges. And I remember, like, hearing him say that and understanding exactly what he meant mm -hmm. and realizing that he was correct. And... It wasn't something that I had heard anybody say up until that point. You know, you've seen a lot of Oscar speeches. You see a lot of people collect. You see a lot of people talk about Hollywood, talk about the. But I, I, I never saw anybody get up there and say you can't hold grudges, and um, because I, I was that kind of a guy. You know, that could be like, yeah, okay, buddy, yeah, well, we'll see. You know, because one day the shoe will be on the other foot. Mm -hmm. And now I'm kind of like. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm getting a little bit older and, you know, grown into, you know, you know, uh, you know, you know, better roles and, and working with better directors. And I have I have less kind of bitterness about the business. You know what I mean? And so uh, I've, been, I've been able to let go of the grudges that I held. But it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. And any any actor who t in Hollywood who tells you that he's never held a grudge uh, is uh, is a liar. It doesn't feel right. It's like he wants trucks to get hit. He's not a cop. I